If I focus on building the product, I will lose. Someone else has to go out and build the product. For me and my values and what is important to me, the thing that I need to focus on is distribution and it's growing my capital. Because if I can just build my distribution, growing my capital, I could always literally get into any business that I want. And if I want to go ahead and start a new business, guess what I have? I already have the audience. I have the distribution. I have the capital to go to invest. All I have to do now is create some type of idea and find an operator to go ahead and run that business. So back in 2018, I was doing so many things to make money online, like so many different things. The only problem with every single thing that I was trying to do to go out and make money online was it just took a lot of time. It took a lot of time and it took a huge team and it took a lot of experience and I didn't want any of that. Right? Like I just wanted to make money online so I could have freedom for myself. I didn't care about making millions of dollars. I didn't care about all those things. I just wanted enough freedom so that I did not have to work a job, so that I did not have to be stuck in my nine to five, that I didn't have to be stuck in the same city that I grew up with. And I just wanted to go ahead and explore the world. The only problem was every single thing they were telling me on what to do to make money online on social media, it did not resonate with me. Maybe I would get it to the point where I was making $100 a day, but it was always so much harder to make more than that. And I was constantly angry at myself on why there's so many people out there that it looked like on Instagram and social media and YouTube on why it seemed like not only they were making more money than me, but they were also having more fun than me. I was constantly angry and frustrated at myself on why it just couldn't be me and why I couldn't create a breakthrough for myself. Because every single business that I did which is very, very difficult. It was very, very hard. It seemed like for everyone else it was easy, but for me it was always just an uphill battle until I figured out this one thing and this one thing started making me $700 to $900 a day with no experience. So essentially, the first step is whenever I'm like in a pain point, whenever I'm in a challenge, I understand one simple thing. If I don't know the answers, why the heck am I gonna go on ahead and play the guessing game? Why am I gonna go out and go out there, trial and error, and figure it out on my own when there's other people that are a lot smarter than me that I could literally just go ahead and learn from? So obviously, when I have a pain point in any aspect of life, I go there, right? If I have a date, pay, uh, pain point in dating, I'm not gonna go ahead and figure out all the things that I need to go ahead and out there and go ahead and talk to certain people. I'm gonna go ahead and find people that are really good at dating and I'm gonna go ahead and spend more time with them. I literally did this back in the day when you know I got my heart broken in college and I was like, you know what, maybe I should move to Vegas for 30 days and hire a bunch of dating coaches to teach me how to actually be confident. A dating coach essentially taught me how to actually be in social settings. Oh, well, what if I want to go ahead and get better in fitness or get better in jujitsu? Well, what if I don't know any of the jujitsu moves? I can't just watch YouTube videos about it. I have to go to places like, I don't know, a jujitsu, a jujitsu dojo and actually learn from people that have been doing it for years. It's the exact same thing with businesses that, you know, you would actually enjoy. So around this period of time, because I had this mindset of, oh, just go to the people that have what you want and learn from them. I decided to go to this like mastermind event in Croatia for like 30 days. Essentially the offer was come, if you want to go to make money line, come to Croatia for 30 days. We're going to live in a city and together we're going to conquer it. And together we're going to go ahead and find new ways to go to make money line. It was actually very interesting. So I went there for 30 days and I essentially dropped everything that I was working on. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and go here for 30 days. Let me learn if there's a new way to go ahead and make money online. And essentially what happened was at one of the events and the speaking events that was happening, there was like this kind of just monk guy that went up on stage and he said, guys, write down a list of all of your values. So obviously I knew exactly what I wanted out of life. The top thing was freedom and then it was authenticity and I was just like talking with people and all of these things that were very important to me. And then on the other end, he was like, well, write down all the ways that you make money. And I was writing down all of these ways that I was making money because I was like, oh, multiple streams of passive income and whatnot. And then he said, cross out all of the ways that you make money that do not align with your values. And I was crossing literally every single thing, every single thing that I was doing make money align. It did not align with my values. And I realized, wow, I'm actually not living in alignment. I'm not living a life where it's actually like, no wonder it's hard for me to enjoy making money because the thing that I'm doing to make money is not aligned with my values. So essentially what he told me to do is he was like, okay, just whatever it is, stop focusing on the money, chase the values. Now, this is why it's very important. You're probably wondering, well, Mike, how do I go ahead and make money online with this? When you go ahead and focus on what is the most important to you and you double down on it and you become naturally curious and growing in that aspect, you will attract certain people into your life that are the best clients, that are the best customers, that are the best way to go ahead and make money online. And you could literally do it forever because it's exactly what it is that you wanna do, right? Like one of the things that my mentor told me is like, how can you get paid to do the things that you're already naturally gonna do? So for example, for me in this moment in time, I was like, okay, well I'm naturally gonna wanna go ahead and meet interesting people. I'm naturally curious about like other people's lives. I'm naturally curious about how other people are hacking their health, their fitness, their love, their happiness, their dating life. So why don't I just, you know, 
record me talking to them and asking them questions and then interviewing them, right? So that was essentially the birth of one of the old podcasts that, that I had in Bali at the time when I was just interviewing all the people that I knew in Bali. And again, it was actually really crazy because in that moment of time, my YouTube channel completely died and everyone else that was like following me, it was just like, I was ranking for all these videos, like how to make $15 or $100 a day as a broke 15 year old. So there's just a bunch of like broke 15 year olds following me and I needed to go ahead and build a new audience from scratch. So again, this was very hard because it was like completely different. It was nothing that I wasn't used to and it was scary not knowing exactly how I was going to monetize, but something crazy ended up happening. Right. So the crazy thing that ended up happening is when I l left Croatia and I went back to Bali and I just started, you know, interviewing a bunch of people, the first couple of ones didn't really blow up. Right. And obviously, like anything, if you, you have like this excitation, you're, you're very enthusiastic about this new business model and this new idea. But then when you first started, you're like, oh, actually, this is a lot harder than I actually thought it would be. Right. But again, I just kept on pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. I just focused on, you know, asking the questions that I was naturally curious about. And essentially what happened is the podcast ended up blowing up like from nothing to hundreds and thousands of views. And the funny thing is I had nothing for sale. I had nothing for sale. So I literally started the first interview, I think end of July, end of July, 2018. And by the time August, 2014, there was already hundreds and thousands of views just because I like this. It's crazy when you are aligned with your values and you stick to it just for some reason, magic happens or synchronicity has happened. Or, you know, if you believe in like the law of attraction or the universe for some, for something, for some reason, when I just focus on my values, the universe almost broke to literally go ahead and make me money. Because the reason why is I had all these people now sliding in my DM saying, oh, I want to go ahead and buy something from that person you interviewed or that person that you interviewed. And the thing is, I didn't have any product at this time and I didn't have any way to go ahead and monetize. But what I accidentally ended up building was a distribution network, a distribution network where essentially there's a bunch of people that have a pain point that want something from me. Now, this is actually really big because in the past I thought, well, don't I have to make a product first? Don't I have to create a service first? Don't I have to build something first and then sell? No, that is literally one of the hardest things that you could ever do. When in fact, the most valuable thing that you could ever do right now in this day and age is building up attention, building up attention with what makes you unique, with what makes you unique. Because if you could build attention with what makes you unique, then you could literally like own people's souls, if you will, for a long period of time. Because now they like you, they like you for who you are. They like you for your weirdness and your quirkness and all of those things. And again, it's like very, very hard because there's no cookie cutter approach. It's just, what is your values? Speak about those values and attract more people that are like those values. So essentially what happened is I accidentally built a distribution network of people that essentially had a specific pain point. And all of them were literally begging me and the people that I was interviewing to go ahead and sell them something. My only problem was I had nothing to sell, right? But because I focused on, for example, distribution, I essentially had a bunch of future customers that if I could just, you know, give them exactly what they wanted to buy, then I would essentially make money. So that's exactly what I did. I'm like DMing all of them. They're DMing me. I'm like, what it is that you liked about that podcast? Oh, you liked that podcast. So you didn't like that podcast. What did you like about that podcast? Uh, what were you interested about? What did you want to learn about that podcast? And then they just started telling me exactly what they wanted to go out and buy for me. Like literally I, I accidentally built up a huge audience and they're like, well, I want to go ahead and buy this from you. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, let me see if I go actually have that. So essentially they were telling me exactly what they wanted to buy. I took that and I went to the people that I interviewed and I'm like, Hey, this is what they want to buy from us. Uh, should we go ahead and sell it? And a lot of these people are like, yeah, we should go ahead and sell it because that's exactly what they wanted. Right? So essentially the next step that I ended up doing is I found one of the people that I interviewed that wanted to actually build the product so I didn't have to. And essentially I was like, okay, I'll focus on building the audience. I'll build the distribution. You are the operator of this product. You build this product. You deliver this product. So I could just focus on my values, which was essentially chasing my curiosity, taking all the content that I was learning and just sharing it out and, and just constantly building up a bigger distribution base. And again, this is literally when I realized just how important it is if you want to make money online to focus on distribution more so than the product or the service first, because just like that, so much money came in. Like, even though like we were like, if you, if you were going to take it away, we were averaging about 700 to $900 a day, maybe a quarter million dollars, like, like very, very fast. But the craziest thing is a lot of that money came in within the first day right within the first day. This is exactly what I mean. So when someone was like, okay, I'll go ahead and build the product. I'm like, cool. I'll build the audience. Uh, the next thing was obviously to get them to sell them on something, right? So normally to sell people on something, you either get them on the phone or you could get them on like some type of live online training. 
So essentially what it is was we were like, okay, let's go ahead and invite them all to a live training, which essentially we went live on YouTube. We also did a webinar and we had like hundreds of people live at a given time. Essentially what happened was I literally got people all on this online event and essentially we just sold them a product that they already wanted, which is why by the time it was already done, you know, I remember, you know, one of the guys that we were going in and doing this, you know, he was looking at the sales. I didn't know what the sales was, but he literally kept on doing this after we were doing an hour and a half or a two hour webinar. And I was like, why is he doing this? You know, at this moment in time, I was thinking maybe I would make 10 grand. Cause in the past, like the most I would ever do on a webinar was like 10 grand, but he just kept on doing this and doing this and doing this. I was like, why does he keep on doing this? And finally, when we were done with the webinar, I was like, how much did we make in this period of time? And he was like 67 grand. And I was like, wait, so you're telling me in this hour or two, we made 67 grand. And I went and took a piss. I went to the bathroom. I came back and he was like, actually, no, Mike, it's 74 grand now. I'm t- I was telling him, I was like, wait, so you're telling me while I took a piss, we just made another 10 grand, right? We just made another 10 grand. And it started blowing my mind because that's when I started realizing the power and the potential of actually focusing on building an audience and building a distribution first. Again, the problem with most people, what they, what they lack in focus is a focus on thinking, oh, well, let me go ahead and build a product. Let me go ahead and build a product. And they waste so much time building a product when what they should be focusing on at every given moment in time is actually building an audience. And when I did this, I literally saw more money in a single day that I ever thought was actually possible for someone like me, someone that, you know, struggled in so many ways to make money online, someone who constantly was grinding and working hard, doing things that I didn't like in so many other business models that were constantly stressed. And I started to realize, whoa, what if there is actually something here, a way to make money online where not only it's a way to make money online to go ahead and, you know, just give the freedom that it is that I wanted. But to actually make money align where it's aligned with my values and something that I deeply, deeply resonate, which is authentic to who I am and something where I don't have any competition because naturally it's like, this is what I'm naturally curious about. This is what I can naturally see myself doing. And I can always see myself just constantly taking things out in the world, growing as a person and sharing it. And when I started doing this, man, it was like, it was just insane. It was just crazy building up a distribution and then making money online with this. So what are some of the other lessons that I learned from this, right? Well, obviously some of the other lessons that I learned from this is what did I do with that capital after? Well, once I started making money, guess what I did with that? I had someone that essentially was building the product and building out the delivery. So I just took that money and I just spent it on more experiences to go ahead and create more content so that I could go ahead and learn more so I could go ahead and share more. Does that make sense? So from that, I took that money, did a bunch of tantra events, spirituality events, you know, intimate events on how to go ahead and for example, uh, like just, become better in relationships. I started sharing all those things and I literally just took all that money and all the things that I was naturally curious about, I just took that money and threw it into that because my business and the way that I make money online is me constantly learning things about the world and about myself and then sharing those lessons, those heartaches, those pains, those trials, those tribulations so that you know I could just constantly grow because at the end of the day, the thing that I care about the most is freedom and personal development and how can I grow as a person and if I can get paid to that and get paid in direct proportion to how much I grow as a person, then that truly is a beautiful life. So I literally just started taking on that capital, started spending it on traveling experiences, uh, upgraded my camera equipment, just focused on making more and more epic content. Because at the end of the day, you know, I think one of the best ways to make money online is how can you get paid to essentially be you? How can you get paid to learn the things that you're naturally curious about, that you're naturally intrigued about, that you naturally are already telling your friends and your family about? How can you get paid to already do that? And I literally just started doing that for years and years and years. And now even to this day, like I'm still doing it. I'm learning something about either health, wealth, love. And I'm like, oh, let me go ahead and create this. And I constantly create videos about this. And it literally allows me to go and build deeper, deeper connections with my audience because they see so many different aspects of my life. And it resonates with more and more people. And again, when I figured this out, everything started happening. So the next thing that I started doing with that is I used that money and just started growing my capital and growing my distribution. I started learning how to save money because I started spending so much money on dumb things that weren't actually giving me an ROI. So I started saving and saving and saving and saving and saving and saving, saving, right? People are like, oh, spend your money. No, I started saving and saving and saving and saving. Uh, and the money that I did spend, guess what? That was all content. So it was still kind of like me growing my business, right? So me spending money on the money that I was making on the things that I wanted to spend, it was just essentially creating more content, it was essentially blowing my business, growing my business. And I started saving more. And not only that, but I started spending more time around people with, for example, ideas, right? 
And when you're around people with new ideas in all other aspects of life, you have a distribution network to go ahead and sell them anything that you ever want, and you have capital and savings, you are literally lethal. You could go ahead and start any businesses. You, I could go ahead and, for example, if one of my friends has like a business idea, I could go ahead and invest in them, right? But all it is, when it comes to making money line, is at the end of the day for me, if I focus on building the product, I will lose. Someone else has to go ahead and build the product. For me and my values and what is important to me, the thing that I need to focus on is distribution and it's growing my capital. Because if I could just build my distribution, growing my capital, I could always literally get into any business that I want. And if I want to go ahead and start a new business, guess what I have? I already have the audience. I have the distribution. I have the capital to go to invest. All I have to do now is create some type of idea and find an operator to go ahead and run that business. And just like that, if you really wanted to make money online, your main bread and butter is actually building the audience. But you could jump up every single business. I could start an event, event business if I want to. I could start like a t-shirt business if I want to. I, want to. I could go ahead and start a software business that I want to. All of those different businesses would have an operator running it, but I would just focus on number one, providing the capital, and number two, building the distribution. And right now, that is literally what I'm focused on to make money online. I think it's literally one of the best things to go ahead and make money online. And obviously, not a lot of people are going in and doing it. Why? Because everyone is seeing the shiny object syndrome on the internet. Oh, this person's doing that. Oh, that person's doing that. I want to go ahead and do this. And they do all these things that do not align with their values. And I think the thing that changed my life was when I first got to, when I did one of those business models and got to $100 a day, when I got to $100 a day and I had the freedom and my expenses were a lot less than the amount that I was making, I can then focus on the businesses that actually align with my values. And literally, once I had the time, money, and location freedom, I was literally being able to go ahead and focus my entire life on this journey to constantly share and constantly give. If you want to know exactly how we were able to go ahead and do this, check out the links below. The third link is starting an e-commerce business. The second link, if you want to learn how to build a personal brand like me, book a call with me and my team, and we'll help build this with you. Or the first one, if you want to learn the fast and easiest way to make passive income online.